Yo, what's up guys? Adrian back with another video. I got Rudy here. Uh, we just actually ended up picking up another Sony a7 III, which is what we're filming on right now. So now we got Rudy with the a7 Mark II. Uh, so with that being said, uh, we're gonna start charging people. If you guys wanna take pictures, just feel free to DM Rudy at, at Finding Rudy. And if you guys want any cinematography, videography, you guys can feel free to reach out to me as well. Or you can hit us up on Progression. But right now we just pulled up to Vasa. We're about to get that workout. I'm not entirely sure where we're gonna go, but I know Rudy's gonna kill me with the jump rope, so you guys might see me dying on the fucking clips of the jump rope, but we're about to head back in there um, and kind of see where this vlog takes us. You know, I'm no longer a member of Vasa anymore, so you know, I gotta use guest privileges of him. So all you Vasa boys, I know you'll, you guys will miss me, but you know, I'm back. Maybe you guys will see me around, but let's go inside and uh, bring you guys along. Guys, so if you guys have seen, we're actually looking forward to get Jeremy back in the videos. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get him in the last auto show video just because the audio, the mic was not hooked up. Unfortunately, you know, a bunch of trial and error, you know. So we would, you guys would have seen Jeremy. It's been a fucking hot minute since we had Jeremy in the vlog, but uh, it's good to have him finally back. Um, you know, we're starting to upgrade equipment. Like I said, we just got the Sony A7 III, so now Rudy's got the Mark IIs. Um, I'm excited to see where we go with this content because, you know, if it wasn't for Phil and for Carlos, they would have never put me on to kind of want to invest in myself even more. Because me and Rudy just invested by getting the A7, which was our first full frame camera. But now it's crazy to think that now we have two full frame cameras. And from what we started off with the small cameras with the A5000 and the A6000, you know, I feel like we have a lot of people saying that they want to get started with their content and stuff like that. And my best advice is to honestly just take that leap of faith because the only way that you're gonna get good at something is by trial and error. You know, at first, when we, if you guys look at the earlier videos that we had, it was very awkward. You know, I was very awkward, very uncomfortable behind the camera. And obviously as time goes on, you get comfortable, you get used to it, you don't, you know, like right now, we're fucking out in public right now, I'm filming myself, like, so weird to think about um, from where we started off a year and a half ago. But uh, I'm very excited to see where we go. What do you gotta say, Rudy? What are you excited about? And I'm, I'm really excited that we got the camera. You know, this, is, this has been a dream for me and Adrian. And it was our first little trip on the Raptor. So, um, it's interesting because like all this, just to be honest, I feel like I'm living a dream. And it just keeps on going. We keep on getting better, we keep on getting more comfortable. And I love that we're getting recognition and that, our, that we're helping other people fulfill their dreams. Because for us, it was really hard to start filming. Especially in the car culture, especially in the fitness culture, because as you can tell, in the fitness culture you have so many people, and we're just a small fraction of what we're touching in the fitness, and a small fraction in uh, in the auto the, automotive industry. The automotive industry. So I really hope we get to that to that position where we're big. We get our warehouse that we're talking about. So just stay tuned. And just go based off what he's saying is. Yeah, like there's a lot that we have set in, in uh, mind, you know, and it is, like he said, it's very hard to try to make it when, one, the fitness industry is so oversaturated, and not, not only that, even when we do the car stuff, it's a lot harder, because the thing between the fitness and the, the fitness, there's a lot of love, but in the car industry, it's all hate. Like, that's what I hate about fitness, or uh, cars, and that's why I kind of started to fall out of love with it, but we're starting to get back in it this year, you know, Rudy got the Raptor, so we're gonna be building that, and we have a lot of content in mind, for the car videos, so I know if you guys are here because you guys watch our fitness videos, I definitely think even if you guys don't like cars, I think the content that we have coming is gonna be, I think you guys are all gonna enjoy whether you like cars or not, because we're gonna try to bring a different aspect to the cars, and 
I don't know whether we make it in fitness or whether we make it in cars. Uh, I'm excited to see what happens. And I just want to be able to make it to where, you know, me and Rudy had a little dream when we were little, you know, wanting to do something with cars. And it, it, it seems so surreal to try to make a career out of um, social media, especially like when we already have our own careers, you know, we have our own jobs already. But it would be such a plus to be making money off of something that we enjoy, you know? I feel like a lot, the problem is that a lot of people, when you get older, you feel like you can't uh, be creative anymore. Everybody, everything starts to dull out, you know? But you gotta keep something that keeps that spirit high and keeps you going because what's the point of living if all you do is work? You know, you gotta find something, whether it's painting, reading, something that, something that uh, brings you joy and makes you, like, something to look forward to, man. Something to enjoy yourself, whether it's family and stuff like that. So. You gotta find find what uh, you feel at your heart is what keeps you going and just keep pushing and try to have as much fun in this life while we can. But we're gonna get back to the workout now. So that pretty much sums it up for today's video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. You're gonna have to ignore the bedhead, you know. I kind of woke up. We woke up at fucking 6.45 in the morning, 6.30. Well, Adrian Just, didn't sleep. He fucking froze his ass. Yeah, I, I, I didn't sleep at all. It was fucking cold as hell. I woke up this morning, it was fucking freezing. And, uh... Dude, I was shivering in my sheets. My room was freezing. Yeah, Rudy's like, I'm about to get to your house. And I'm like, all right, cool, I'll come out. He's like, yeah, maybe I'd wait. It's fucking cold. I get outside, shit. Fucking boogers are fucking icicles and shit. But, uh... We were freezing our asses to get this camera. We are shivering. We're literally outside. We got, like, we got all the equipment laid out on the trunk on the bed. And we're fucking, oh, yeah, bro? Like, oh, why are you getting rid of the camera? We're fucking <laughs> shivering and shit. But it was well worth it. You know, we had to get up early. We got this video in right after we got the, the camera. So we got, we hope you guys are, noticed the quality difference. So this one's gonna be in 4K. Um, so it shoots a little bit better. Uh, but now we'll have me and Rudy with the full frame. And the, go, the dope thing is that all of our lens are interchangeable. So even though Jesse's ca new camera, which is our old camera, um, is different, uh, they'll still be uh, able to be used. So, you know, if you guys, if you guys want to get into camera, I feel like so many people ask what camera to get to. So, if you're looking to do photography and you want like a best bang for your buck, all right, Canon might be the best bet for you. But if you're looking to do videos and um, pictures, I feel like the Sony is just the best way to go, especially the Sony A6000. That's what we started off with, and I mean. The quality, I mean, you can't really tell the quality between the- autofocus on the A6000 is, is amazing. amazing. The only downside is, just so you guys know, is so anything before the 6000 does not have a microphone jack. But the other ones do. It's just that when you start getting towards like the 6100, the 6400, those are a lot more expensive. And at that point, if you're going to be buying the 6400, you might as well buy an A7 and actually get the full frame. Um, because uh, the A6000s do have a crop sensor and stuff like that. So there is a difference between them, um, the way they shoot and stuff like that. So that's why I'm kind of glad that me and him have the same uh, camera now, because now it'll look exactly the same. The sensors will pick up the same type of color and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, so we're excited to bring you guys more videos. Like I said before, we're gonna be bringing a lot more car videos. You know, Rudy's got big plans for the Raptor since we just got it, he came back from Mexico. You know, so obviously he's got he had that trip, but um, uh, no gym out there, man. Uh, yesterday was my first day and it felt amazing. Just hit, getting back in the gym. I know Jesse feels the same way. Me and Jesse were deprived of the gym. But good thing that we got to see our family. My parents, my grandparents were out there. And I have a lot of family in Mexico. So it was nice. We, I got to see the Bronco. I don't know what the plans are with it. Um, it was a little... It was in a worse condition than I thought it was going to be. And to be in Mexico just working, slaving away on a truck... I'd rather spend the time with my family. So depending on what happens, it might come over here or it might stay over there. But man, I appreciate everybody and I appreciate everybody joining our 
our journey. Adrian's cutting, I'm cutting. So we'll see. Hey, Jeremy said that he's gonna look bigger than Adrian, so I don't know what's gonna happen. I got money on Adrian, but Jeremy does have that muscle memory, so I don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah, so that's the thing is like Jeremy, so Jeremy stopped working out as much as you guys see. You guys haven't seen him in the vlog, he's been kinda bumming it away, you know. I love Jeremy. But he talks all that shit when we are when we used to go out on dates and be like, oh, that's cute. That's yeah, but, cute. but now he's whipped. It's okay, you know. It, it, we, we all live in our learn, right? We all like to talk shit when we're not in the, in the situations. But he said we have a bet right now going. He thinks he's going to be bigger than me in, in three months, which I put do not think. Put down the date. Put down the date. We'll put the date down the low. I got to check what day he said. We're going to check, and then we'll we'll, re, we'll regroup when, uh, when that date comes. But I don't know. I've been meal prepping. I'm about 2,800 calories right now. I'm gonna slowly start to taper down. I'm at about 30 minutes of cardio most days. I usually try to do 30 minutes of cardio five days out of seven days of the week. Um, so we'll see what happens. I've been leaning out a lot. I think I've been leaning out a little bit faster than I would like. So if I end up getting too lean too quick, I'm gonna probably do like just a mini, not mini bulk. I wouldn't say mini bulk. I'd probably just up the calories because I will be going to Houston in July for uh, Alpha Land. And that same weekend, Rudy will be at the what is it F1. Formula One and uh, St. Louis. So you guys are gonna have two videos. We're, we're both gonna be in different different uh, states, but we're gonna be getting content, so we're gonna have two videos coming out. And uh, so stay tuned for that. And as always, um, like, comment, and subscribe, subscribe guys. Peace.